the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome, my brother and sister, to this fifth Sunday of Easter. And we hear today Jesus give us a commandment to love one another as he has loved us. And so within our lives, we often fail to love one another. And so let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to enter into this most sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O Lord, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of, eter of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul and Barnabas had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Listeria and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, It is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed elders for them in each church and with prayer and fasting commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Atalia. From there, they sailed to Antioch, where they had been committed to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all, 
and compassionate toward all his works. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. A reading from the book of Revelation. Then I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will always be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there shall be no more death or mourning, wailing or pain, for the old order has passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. El que me sigue entendrá. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. When Judas has left them, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and God will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. I give you a new commandment. Love one another. As I have loved you, so you also should love one another. This is how all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you. My brothers and sisters, in our Gospel reading this fifth Sunday, Jesus told his disciples, and he tell us today, As I have loved you, 
so you also should love one another. This is how all will know that you are my disciples. It is by love that we will be identified as true followers of Christ. If in Jewish tradition, the measurement of love towards your neighbor is how you love yourself, Jesus now gives us a new way of measuring love of neighbor. Love them as Jesus has loved us. That is to say, love them selflessly. Because Jesus loved no nose bound for us. He gave his all for us. And he gave his all by dying on the cross for each one of us. And when we say to lay down one's life, it doesn't mean only those heroic or extraordinary acts. The trouble is we think only of these so that we often overlook the ordinary ones. It reminds me of a love letter a young man wrote to his girlfriend. And in it he said, Dear Mary, I can climb the highest mountain. I can swim the seven seas. I can fight the most ferocious lion in the jungle to prove my undying love for you. And then he signed, Your ever-loving Johnny, Johnny. And right below it he said, I'll visit you on Sunday if it does not rain. <laughs> and so we often think of dramatic moments. We often think of extraordinary act to prove one love. But we have to remember dramatic moments do not come often in life. Far more frequent are the day-to-day -day demands of love, like being kind when you are feeling irritable, or sharing one's time for one who is in need, or when you are enjoying your favorite TV show to go out of your way for a charitable cause. There's a short article by an anonymous author entitled, What is Christianity? And in it, the author said, Christian love is like this. In the home, it is kindness. In business, it is honesty. In society, it is courtesy. And in work, it is fairness. Toward the unfortunate, it is compassion. Toward the weak, it is help. Toward the wicked, it is resistance. Toward the strong, it is trust. Toward the fortunate, it is congratulations. Toward the penitents, it is forgiveness. But toward God, it is reverence and love. So my brother and sister, the real measure of spiritual growth is in the measure of how we approximate Christ's new commandment, to love one another as I have loved you. So let us learn from his word, listen to his word, and love each other, not only through extraordinary circumstances, but in every day of our life. Amen. Now together let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Jesus taught us that as he has loved us, so we must love one another. Therefore, we turn now to God out of love for our neighbor. For the church, 
that we may be a sign of God's love for us by the love we show to each other and the service we provide for our neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. That barriers between peoples may be overcome, opening the doors of empathy and compassion to those of other cultures and backgrounds, for God's dwelling is with the whole human race. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That missionaries around the world may be fruitful in their labors as they preach the good news to all God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christian families, the source of religious vocations, that they may be prompted to encourage young people to rejoice in doing God's will. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of our community that are in need of prayer and whose intentions are contained in this basket, let us pray to the Lord. God of all, out of love for the human race, you send your son to sacrifice himself for us. Help us to love one another as you have loved us, and grant the prayers we made out of that love through Christ our risen Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my brother and sister, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Lord, accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and John our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to your eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take, take away the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy, Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace and glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.